Hello, everybody. Namaste, beautiful brothers and sisters. Let's just, um, I'm in a park, so we'll just, uh, people are looking at me going, what is she doing? And I'm making a live video, it's at Equinox. So anyway, let's just, just wait for a little moment until a couple of people jump on the call. So happy Equinox, everyone. How are we feeling today? So uh, the energies are massively building up for this powerful ceremony that is going to be taking place at 8 minutes past 8 p.m. UK time. It's now 14.54, so that's 3 o'clock. So in five hours, 10 minutes or so, maybe 15 minutes, it's going to be the, um, the Equinox ceremony. And, um, God, this is a little bit hectic, this part. Look, look where I am. It's just like a thousand million people while I'm doing a blooming Facebook Live. Please say hello when you get here. And let me know what your plans are for Equinox. And what, what does it mean for you? What does Equinox mean to you? So let's break it down. Well, the sun is reaching one of its major, major quarter points as it now moves from the Tropic of Cancer and it goes to the tropic of, um, not the tropic, the, um, the point of Libra. It's like one of the cross points. And then from Libra, it goes all the way down to, um, to Capricorn. And so that's where we're at. We're at a very, very powerful time. This is called um, judgment time. This is why we have Yom Kippur. We have many, many um, festivals all around the world. And they all take place at these very, very powerful times. Oh, look, the sun's coming out, guys. How beautiful is that? So I just want to find a little place just to lean this because it's a bit difficult making this video while I'm um, holding. I used to be a, a right old expert of that, but I saw a wee bit hectic around here. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to sit down and make the video. So please say hello when you arrive and happy equinox and tell me what your plans are. So our ancient ancestors, they would gather on days like this. They would have big massive feasts. They would all come out into the town square. It would be a time of reaping the harvest and it would be a time of um, community and celebrating community, you see. And so, obviously, a big part of the agenda of the old controllers has been to take us away from that, that feeling of community and that, that feeling of oneness that we hold with the rest of humanity. And so everyone's in their separate little boxes and, you know, watching TV and sort of living their secular life when, when actually on really powerful days, especially like this, we're meant to come together. We're meant to come out of our homes and you know out of our sort of comfort zones and we're meant to gather with our community our tribe so that we can um, send forth our collective intentions on these powerful days so the old controllers they also know um, how powerful and um, like mystical these dates are and that's why a lot of nefarious activities have traditionally taken place on these powerful equinox days so it is very very important that we the ground crew we counterbalance all the nefarious intentions by coming together. Now, the work that I've been doing recently is connected to the, the square mile in London. And in the square mile, there's a stone which is connected. Um, it's a very powerful Masonic stone. Some people say it's the most powerful stone in the world. And it's hidden away and it's locked away in the city of London. So like the Vatican, like um, um, Washington, the city of London has its own, it's its own city, it has its own laws and it is not kind of subject to the regular laws of, of London and, and, and the greater sort of like area. And so this means that the energy in these places has been capped and it means that the old controllers have set spells, cast spells on these um, particular places to keep the spiritual energy capped because they don't want humanity awakening to the I am presence. They don't want humanity to know and awaken to the fact that they are gods and goddesses, like we are all fractals of God source energy. 
and within our own consciousness we house the I am that I am what is the I am that I am well in the Bible God's name many many times is referred to as I am they shall know me as I am and um, I was gonna say something else about that I am that I am means I am stating that I am the God that I am that I am means I have the power to become that which I want because as a God being you're, you're a creative powerhouse and so through your thoughts through your visualizations through your intentions and even just simply through your will you conjure up all the forces from the from the subconscious field the quantum field and they are all working towards bringing you your heart's desire so when we say i am that i am we're saying that the, the that i am me, bit means i am also what i'm calling into my reality through spiritual magnetism i am that as well and so this tells us unequivocally that we are creators we are deeply deeply powerful creators and so the reason why we're working with the london stone for this equinox transmission is because this is connected to the unicorn now the unicorn is the symbol of um freedom galloping wildness yeah that's what it's a symbol of and the fact that in the london emblem the unicorn has been chained means that the agenda has been to control and keep the unicorn tied up and not free so we're going to be activating a protocol this is very very much connected to the divine masculine consciousness who has struggled on a much more intense level in my humble opinion than the divine feminine through being incarnated into this um, Maya or the matrix and so really the work that we're going to be doing today is going to be hugely liberating many many divine masculines to awaken to who they truly are and their true spiritual power guys how is this message landing with you are you feeling what I'm saying are you feeling the energies like let me know in the comments what are your plans today um, what, what are your intentions to honor this equinox gateway please don't tell me that you're not going to do anything please don't tell me that you're just going to like sit in and just it's just going to be another regular day because it's not it's absolutely not and if we those on the front line of the spiritual revolution don't show up and actually do the deep deep spiritual work what hope has the rest of humanity got so i would hope and pray that everyone watching this video is going to be saying yes jen i'm going to be hosting a ceremony i'm going to be going to a ceremony we're having a gathering we're having a fire tonight we're going to be working with the really 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 deep energies of the equinox please let me know and may you find inspiration from this video for you um, to actually, you know, really, really deeply, um, you know, to do something a, a, a today. So we're going to be working with the London Stone. We're going to be working with the energy of the unicorn. We're going to be freeing up the unicorn. This is connected to the 144,000 twin flame unions. So there's been a huge agenda to really, really anchor these unions. And we as the ground crew need to step forward now to offer our energetic support. And so as we unchain the unicorn, that is going to feed in on a subliminal level to many, many codes within the divine masculine consciousness, which is going to enable them to awaken out of the Maya, out of the illusion. So if you are a twin flame, if you see yourself as a grid worker, now would be the time for you to come forward and um, participate in this amazing ceremony. So this isn't going to be a big ceremony, but I'm going to upload big, not, this isn't going to be a long video. So I'm just going to um, round it up right about there. I'm going to post all the links to book onto the ceremony. Um, so many of you have booked on so far. So I'm absolutely blown away by the response. Like the community has 100% heard the call and I'm so deeply honored to be facilitating this amazing ceremony. So I can't wait to be with you all in a few hours from now. Is it not possible to comment on this on this post? Because not one person has commented apart from Ifulu Wapo. Like, guys, say hello. Because the thing is, if you actually comment on this post, then Facebook will deem it good and then they'll show it to everyone. If no one comments, Facebook's like, oh, this is a load of, you know, crap, this, this video. We won't show it to anyone. So your engagement is super, super 
um, vital in order to get the message out. So if you could share this video, that would be appreciated. If you could just engage, like, is anyone there? Kendra, Kendra, are you able to uh, comment on this video? Oh, thanks, Rose. Thanks, love. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, I've never done a video where no one has ever commented before. So it does make me question whether something is up and can you comment? Are you allowed to comment on this video? So yeah, please let me know in the comments, what are your plans for Equinox? I would really, really love to know. So the, the ceremony starts in three hours, four minutes from now. I really, really can't wait to be with everyone. I'm gonna be sharing my brand new song called uh, A Change Is Coming. Obviously a change is coming because we're going into autumn and um, you know, we're going into autumn and so the leaves are about to fall off the trees. The sun is about to fall in the sky. That's why it's called the fall. So change is coming and I'm gonna, I've written, I've channeled this beautiful song called A Change Is Coming. And um, I'll, I'll sing you a bit of it now. It goes, um, timelines converging and timelines collapsing cause the change is already here in the quantum universe the echoes of love resound through eternity and if you listen to your heart you will surely find that you have all, always had the key timelines collapsing and timelines converging in the quantum universe in the quantum universe the echoes of love resound through eternity and if you listen to your heart you will surely find that you have always had the key do you like that song guys so i wrote this song called a change is coming well it's a bit not correct to say I wrote that song. I received a song called A Change Is Coming. It's a really long one as well. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be sharing that, the full version of that song for everyone that shows up for the Equinox transmission. And um, it's gonna be amazing. So it's very important that everyone knows that this is a deep soul contract. Those people that show up on their grid points for these ceremonies, we have all made a deep soul contract to work together. So it isn't, it isn't going to resonate for everyone because there are people that have sat at the feet of Mother Father God with me when God was saying, right, we need to, we need to do this great work. And I was like, okay, all right, I'll lead the ceremonies. And then many, many souls came forward and they said, I'll activate that particular grid point. I'll activate that specific grid point. And so it's a deep, deep soul contract that we have all made. Thank you, Ilu Whopper. You know, it's a deep soul contract. So if you're thinking, oh, why, why is it that I'm never, never really drawn to gen ceremonies? Well, it's because you haven't made a soul contract to do that work. So this message is for those people that are locked into this service. This is planetary service on such a high level, I can't even begin to express how powerful and important this work that we do is for the collective. And I'm very, very deeply honoured um, to facilitate these ceremonies. So the ceremony is going to start in three hours. No, it's three o'clock now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five hours. And, um, and that's it. So please send, um, please share this video. Did you like my song I, I shared? I'll, I'll sing the last bit again. It goes, um, in the quantum universe, the echoes of love resound through eternity and if you listen to your heart you will surely find that
that you have always had at the key. Timelines collapsing and timelines converging in the quantum universe. There you go, guys. That's my song. So everyone who comes is going to hear my song. And I'm home now, so... Uh, brilliant video i love doing this so yeah see you all soon i'll post all the videos all the links namaste beloveds